Hey guys, Duke from Retro Nonsense here. Uh, I am very excited to do this video because I've been wanting and waiting to modify my Atari 2600 for quite a while now. And I finally got my parts and finally have some time to do it. So I'm going to give it a shot. So what I'm going to do is uh, composite mod my 2600. So what that does, it takes away the RF uh, cable and you put, it has the red, white, yellow jacks, which I always called RCA jacks, but I, I guess they're also called composite jacks, which gives it a better uh, and cleaner audio and, and video signal. So um, the reason, the main reason I want to do it is because I'm ru currently running my Atari through my uh, VCR into my television, and the picture quality is, is pretty bad. It's very snowy, and um, I want to improve that. Also, it would be good for capturing footage um, if I ever want to stream games or, or record footage on there. So um, I bought some parts off the internet. There was a kit there from, I think it's, who was this? Uh, vintage video, I'm sorry, vintage gaming and more.com is where I got the little mod kit. Comes with everything you need. Just need to apply some minor skill and some solder and stuff like that. And hopefully we'll, we'll get it done. So some cables that it came with as well. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and we'll see how it goes. I'm a novice at this. I've done a couple things in the past, some desoldering and soldering, some capacitor replacements, uh, some minor repairs, stuff like that. Um, but I really enjoy it. Uh, um, so I'm going to see how, how I do doing this. So um, I want to give you a quick example here. If you can see it, I don't know. Oh, see, got to turn my VCR on first. And there, I don't know how good you can see that or how this, uh, there's Zerk, and I, there's a lot of snow on the picture. It sounds fine, but um, I want to improve the uh, image quality for the future. And uh, plus I think it'd be fun to do this. So there you go. I'm going to give it a shot, and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me okay. The first step is to obviously take apart the Atari. So I'm going to do that, and the good thing about this kit is it came with instructions online, a website, and it, I can follow these instructions on how to do this. So there's step one, taking the Atari apart. Hope you guys can see this okay. I uh, got my rig set up. I'll show a picture of it. You guys got a kick out of this last time when I showed it, uh, how I filmed this uh, in my kitchen here. So. Uh, all right, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to put this in the sink and clean it up real good, uh, too, because it's kind of dirty. By the way, this is the Vader 2600 that my good friend Musty gave me. So thanks again, Musty. This foil tape is just trash. We don't need to keep that. So we're just going to take that off, throw it away. Next, you got to bend up these tabs and take this metal casing off with some needle nose pliers here. Remove that. This RF cable here, just I think, just unplugs. Yes. So we're not going to be using that anymore, so we're going to pull that out. Get rid of this. I'll clean that up later too, and this is what we're going to be working on. So in the middle of the board here, there's a transist transistor, this thing here that has to be removed. So I think I need to cut the leads and just throw that away and make sure the leads aren't touching anything else. So it just basically gets removed from the board. I suppose I can just break it off. I don't see why not. Okay, so there's a transistor I had to remove. This kind of broke out pretty easily. Set that aside. And make sure the leads aren't touching anything else. Okay, next I need to remove these 
these leads here, these pins, and cut them uh, because this circuit board here is no longer no longer needed. So that's going to be taken out of the loop. So I'm going to cut these pins with my cutters here. Okay. Now comes a part I'm not so hot at, and that's soldering. Um, I have to thank my good friend Yoshi Knuckles for some of the stuff you see here. He gave me this desoldering iron, gave me some equipment here, some solder, just to be nice. So thanks Yoshi, Ben, for that. So I'm going to attempt to solder this stuff here, I'm assembling this as my soldering iron is heating up. We got a transistor here. It goes on the chip. Let's see here. Or circuit board, I guess I should say. So we've got to assemble this first and then solder it all together. There's two um, resistors. One, and they're different ones. Let's see. The red, red, red is a 2.2K resistor, and that goes up here. Okay, just kind of tin the tip. Okay guys, a little unconventional, but I'm gonna clamp this in my C clamp here, because I don't have one of those nice little helper devices that some of the experts might have. So I'm gonna improvise here a little bit. See how that works. Seems to be working. All right, that part's done. Now I've got to solder the wires on. Put them through the board. Okay guys, so I did kind of screw up a little bit. I um, it, it doesn't matter, but it's a little embarrassing, but I was supposed to have the wires on that side and I put them through the wrong way. But it shouldn't matter. So I'm gonna continuity test these to make sure that nothing's touching. Since again, I'm not the best at soldering. So I'm gonna test the wires that are next to each other to make sure there's no continuity. Open, and then red and blue, open. So that's good. All the solder joints are decent, at least for me. I'm happy with that. Again, I wish I would have put them in the right way, but it really doesn't matter in the end. It serves the same purpose. So that is complete. Got to do some desoldering now, which I didn't realize at first, but I'm going to go ahead and break this. This board here is not needed anymore. And it's in the way for me to see this and desolder. So I'm going to go ahead and break this board off. Okay. I've got to desolder these pins because some of these wires I put in on the board there are going to be soldered onto these points here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Fresh solder on those points. I 
Alright, so got those de desoldered and the pins pulled out that went fairly well. Thanks to this awesome tool here. Desoldering tool is essential for this. So, now to put the new wires on. Okay, now these three wires are soldered on to these parts here, so I'm going to clip them off. Quick continuity check. We're good. Okay, this one's going to be the hardest one yet. I got to solder this yellow wire onto one of these resistor points right here. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me because it's very tight in there. Okay, I actually got it. I'm going to mark where I want my holes to be. With a Sharpie. Now we're putting the RCA jacks in the holes here. Okay, those are in now. Just gotta solder, solder the wires on there now. This black wire is the ground that runs through all three of these ground rings. The red and the white, because it's mono. There is no stereo on a on an Atari, from what I understand. I'm not really interested in making a stereo. If there's a way to do it, I don't really care about that, because it's Atari. <laughs> soldering's done. I just got to put this thing back together. Okay, there's a step here. Before I put this back together, I've got to hook this up to my television and make sure the colors are right. There's an adjustment here. Um, I'm not going to put that on video. I'm just going to go do that real quick and adjust the color before I put it all back together. So here it is, guys, all cleaned up and put back together. Got my new RCA jacks in the back. Looking good, so we're gonna plug it in and see how it does. All right guys, so let's put a game in here and it works. So there you have it. Now a couple things. Um, number one, I wanna say how much I enjoyed doing this. I've really come to like tinkering with these things and fixing these things and I'm very happy with my progress, with my soldering and I know to you professionals, it might look a little, you know, unprofessional, but I'm, I'm making some headway and I, I've gotten more comfortable with it and I'm improving my skills. So that's, that's great. Um, I will say, however, that I'm not very happy with the results here. Um, a couple things, uh, like three things that, that stood out to me right away. Number one, it looks very uh, kind of muted and dark, um, the colors. And there's a color adjustment inside the console that I tinkered with for quite a while trying to get them just right and I just can't get it to my likings. Um, it seems if I get one game where I think it looks right and put another game in it seems off so I just really can't get the colors perfect. Um, number two, oh let me plug a controller in here. Um, there's some ghosting for some reason. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. I'll probably put a picture up instead but you especially notice that when he's running his legs there uh, for some reason, he's, there's a double image of the sprite there. Um, so I'm not sure what's wrong, what's going on with that. If that's, uh, again, maybe the quality of the board that I bought or just the consequences of messing with something or altering it from its original state. I'm not really sure. I'm no expert. But I'm not happy with that. And also, it sounds good. 
nice and clear. Actually, this as a positive thing, the, the screen is very clear. There's no there's no snow. It's very crisp. So that is good. But I cannot get these colors. Look at the, the water is like aqua. And, and if I tweak it to green, then everything else looks off. So I'm not sure why. Uh, I can't get the colors uh, just right. And then there's, like I said, the, the double image there that uh, is problematic for me. So I'm hoping there's some tweaking I can do or some uh, correct correction to this problem, but I've got a feeling it's just the board that I bought. Um, it's just the way it's designed, or I'm not sure if there's a way to get a better one or to improve this or to tweak it some way, but I double checked and triple checked everything. It's all hooked up right. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a decent job uh, with the modification. So it seems that it's just something wrong with the, the parts that I bought. Or again, maybe it's just the, the nature of trying to modify one of these things. So not real happy with the, pro the results. But again, on a positive side, I had a great time doing it. Um, I'm not done with this. I'm going to try to, it's already been, you know, torn apart. I got to, this is, you know, this is what I got to work with here. So I'm going to try my best to either get another, they're not, they're not expensive. I think the board was like 12 bucks or something. So if I do some research and find one that has better, a better quality to it, or just has better um, feedback or something, I, I will do that. Um, so I'm not done with this. And again, I had so much fun doing it um, and sharing it with you guys. So I appreciate you watching. But um, I'll, I'll try to share some comparison shots because I do have another Atari still um, that I hooked up and I, I compared the two. And honestly, it looks a lot better on my original Atari, aside from the fact that there's snow in the background. And that might be able to be remedied with a better RF cord or something like that or some tweaking with that. I'm not really sure. But um, as of right now, I'm not real happy with the results. But it's all cleaned up. It looks good. I had a good time putting it all together. And again, I'm not done with this. I'm going to keep at it and keep messing with this until I get it to uh, where I want. So tell me what you guys think. And again, I'd really appreciate if anybody out there has any knowledge of this stuff or has any uh, feedback for me that can help me, I would appreciate it. Because again, I'm a novice. But... um. I guess that's it. Um, you know, while I got you, I'm going to show you some of my, I've been collect. I'm falling in love with my Atari all over again. I, I didn't realize how uh, much I missed this. And I've been finding games on the cheap and really building my collection up. And I want to share it with you real quick. So my game room is a mess. Let me straighten some of these up a little bit here. And these are in no order, like they should be. Um, so let me <laughs> straighten them up a little bit. But uh, there's my other backup Atari. That's a 4.6 sorry four six a four switch uh woody there as i call it it's dirty because i just bought it recently I need to clean it up uh, but it works very well so i'm very happy to have two two systems and again this is my musty hobbit system there that is very special to me so there is my current atari collection looking good i'm really excited about it um i, I can't believe how many games i must have had as a kid because every game I, I find or play i'm like man i remember playing this so i'm having so much fun with it um so i'm working on it and I'm really enjoying playing it. There's some other games down here. Um, so anyway, thought I'd share that with you while I had you on the uh, on the video here. So anyway, sorry about the anyway. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. And again, feedback would be appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.